Alright, so this is the same as before. What are you doing? You've brought this thing into our home. Quick, kill it before it kills us. Walter Lamb has his pistol, Walter has his pistol rarely, but does not aim it at anyone. Yeah, I have to say, this isn't a good idea. Why the hell is a ghoul in here? Why is he wearing armor? Why is it wearing armor? Calm yourselves. I am not an it, and your elders know this intimately. Good evening, Elder. Mm, I can smell your fear, and I'm glad of this. It means you are learning the price of betrayal. Whoa, whoa, what the hell is going on here? Can someone explain to me why the goo is talking? Uh, Gaiju had a contract with the elders and they betrayed him. You dare to accuse us of conspiring with the monster and covering it up? You're insane! The very idea is preposterous. Water nods at the elders, looking back to you with a weary expression. I'm interested to hear what kind of evidence you have to support this theory, SKC. As far as I can tell, this monster killed Tong and the others, and that makes him a threat that should be eliminated. Yeah, and at this point, you tell him, but if you don't have enough evidence, instead of him saying, alright, everybody stay put, we're gonna look for more evidence, which is what the reasonable thing would be, you just start shooting each other, right? There's no option to tell Lamb, you know what, okay, I don't have enough evidence, but why don't you go and get the evidence, now that I've told you what the accusations are? So the fact that you can't... Yeah, no, I just not... No, I don't like the way this is, this is, this is written. Like, it's almost perfect, but it's... The way the, the mission sequence is set out, it just trips over a little bit. Uh, the elders hired Gaiju to kill out the magpie and make it look like she disappeared. You believe this vermin? This creature that feeds on metahuman flesh? That kills and dismembers our tribesmen? You are a naive and foolish man. If that's the case, what proof do you have that magpie is dead? Mm, please, it matters where an elder is accused of breaking our law. The other elders generally judge them. It matters where all of them has been, have been accused. I am authorized to act as judge. Make your case, Shadowrunner. I found Magpie's necklace in the storm drains. Porter takes a moment to examine the necklace. This is definitely Elder Magpie's. If you found it in the storm drain, that's suspicious, but hardly proof on its own. Of course it's not proof. The number of things lost down storm drains in Hong Kong must number in the tens of thousands per year. While unusual, it's hardly evidence of foul play. There was a large amount of blood in her shower drain. So what? Perhaps she cut herself, and washed the cut off. Perhaps you were mistaken about it being blood. You were simply guessing as to what happened. That's true. It's a guess. And even if it is her blood, it doesn't prove that the elders hired the school to kill her. Porter gives Elder Yip a sidelong glance. The elders have always protected Wombo Garden to the best of their ability. She hasn't been seen in a month, not by anyone. She wouldn't just disappear like that. That may be unlikely, but it's hardly impossible. You haven't established that the elders were involved. All you've done is make suppositions about it. What proof do you have that we hide and betrayed this creature? I won't sit by and listen to idle accusations without any kind of concrete evidence to back it up. What about the fight with the Hong Kong police force? How do you mean? What does that have to do with the elders and the ghoul? The evidence in the garage points to a fight with someone using a sword. We allowed the police into Wompao Garden because they were hunting someone. They never told us who or why they were looking for their Chloe. They didn't have anything to, it didn't have anything to do with us. Gaichu hisses through clenched teeth addressing Porter Lamb. I was only in the garage to collect payment from them. The ordinary residents were warned of the Hong Kong police force's arrival and were gone by the time I arrived. That's suspicious, I admit. Porter regards the elders for a long moment. It still doesn't prove the elders knew it was a ghoul. This is a piece of Gaichu's armor I found in the garage. The markings on it prove it. You point out the armor's marking the porter, and he nods with the same with some satisfaction. This is from his armor, definitely, but how does it prove that the elders knew of the ghoul's existence? The police officers were abnormally armed and armored, much with much heavier gear than a normal patrol. They were armed with armor piercing, discarding several rounds. That's hardly the standard issue. Lesser weapons wouldn't have broken that armor plate. If all they were looking for was a common fugitive, why would we be prepared for a fight of that magnitude? Obviously, they knew what they were searching for. That doesn't mean we did. You Wompons don't allow police inside the area. Why make an exception this time? The police were polite and asked our permission to enter. They were hunting a non-Wompon. That was enough to allow them in. 
Porta considers this for a moment and then shakes his head. That doesn't add up. Mm. Why would the police ask us for entry now? They've never been polite before. And they've always tried to force their way in here. It just doesn't ring true to me. Did you ask them to come in order to hunt down the school? Preposterous. Porter, you know what our community is like. We wouldn't lie over something like this. This school has been lying the entire time, trying to cover his tracks. He still brutally murders several elders. That's true. Those murders were vicious and cruel. I don't see any way to explain that away. This school is a monster for how he killed Tong and the others. Tong's body was a mess true, but he died quickly from a sword blow to the neck. I struck Tong down with a single blow from my sword. The mess made of the body was to send the elders a message, but I had no desire to make Tong suffer. At any time, Ng and the other elders could have made amends, and the killings would have ended. Instead, they hired a Shadowrunner to kill me. It's not about cruelty, it's about sending a message. That's not what I would have expected. Looking at the body. You killed him before you dismembered him. That's right, and I killed the other elders in a similar fashion. There was no cause to prolong their suffering. The message was for the living elders, not the dead. If the elders wished to treat me like a monster, I would terrorize them like one until they paid reparations for their mistake. Come on, you can't possibly believe this crazy story. It's absolutely, absolutely insane. Tong wasn't tortured. There was no astral residue of pain or fear. He didn't feel the blow. That's correct. I struck a single blow while his back was to me. His death was instant. Regrettable that he had to die for your folly. But necessary to protect my reputation. Glares that guide you in stony silence before addressing Porter. You cannot believe what these people say. They are not to be trusted. And even if this is true, he has still killed Tong. Porter looks back at his expression flat and without, without emotion. Maybe so, but a monster would not take Tong's suffering into account. He may be a killer, but he's not heartless. The scene of Tong's murder like the others was a deliberate sham. It was made to look more horrific than it was. I believe you. The blood smeared on the walls, the removal of his skin. That's a scene designed to evoke horror, not the scene of an actual fight. Elders, what do you have to say in response? This is a farce. We have dedicated ourselves to protecting the Wampum tribe and everyone who lives in Wampum Garden. Do you really believe outsiders and monsters over our word? We who have only tried to end the killings. You have been duped, Porter, you and this Shadowrunner. I concur. Porter, you know me. You know the kind of person I am. I wouldn't be party to the killing of another elder. I can't believe we were... We are even entertaining the notion that we have to defend ourselves. We should be disposing of the school instead. If you think I'll forget this, you're sorely mistaken. I will not tolerate this kind of insult. Uh, the elders were all too happy to have the Red Spears move into the garage. Almost like they wanted to keep curious about the fight away. Not almost like. We found the PDA. That's right. Yep. You told me not... You even told me not to go find out what happened with the fight. You said the Red Spear Gangers were moving in and to leave them alone. Why would you tell me not to look into it? I was only to trying to protect you from the Red Spears. They're dangerous, which is why I wanted to deal with them directly. Magpie's gear was missing, obviously missing. Why didn't you tell me that? He would have had to have noticed. And Magpie's shop is locked up. Why didn't he want me investigating? Pure supposition. You think it proves something that I didn't notice equipment was missing? Magpie's shop is always a horrible mess. But it wasn't? <laughs> it wasn't a horrible mess? Tong, did you you did a full inventory of Magpie's matrix servers. You assured us everything was running fine and you would be able to continue her work. I find it hard to believe you missed something as obvious as missing equipment, especially while searching her stock. That's all I've got. Alright, I think I have some idea what's going on here. And what do you believe the real story is? Gaichu seems to be telling the truth. Elders, too many facts don't add up. You are obviously hiding something, possibly a great deal from the rest of the tribe. I'm sorry, but I have to take you into custody until the community can decide the extent and manner of your punishment. Alright, so that that's enough. <laughs> and we killed a bunch of gangers because they were too stupid and refused to let us pass. Death would seem appropriate to me, especially given that they kept up this charade, even to you, one of their most trusted citizens. Come on, guys, you let's not kill people. Don't you dare talk to me like that, you disgusting beast. It begins to raise his, uh, Yip begins to raise his weapon. Porter reaches out to stop him. Yip reluctantly stops. Yip, no. Don't make this any worse than it is. 
Order turns to face you. Thank you, SCKC. I'll make certain that justice is meted out. You are free to go and I'll ensure payment is delivered to you, so long as you take Gaiji with you. I can't have him staying here. Alright, he's coming with me. No, we <laughs> the elders don't... We don't need to... The elders don't need to pay to us. He'll be coming with me. Alright. And that's... that's... you just... Gaichu, as you exit Wong Pao into the sweltering night air of the Kowloon streets, Gaichu turns to face you. I confess, I am unhappy with the decision to allow the Wong Pao elders to live. We should have killed them, if for no other reason than to maintain our reputation. That's why I let them live, that's not how we do things. Uh, if you're going to run on this team, you have to learn to accept my decisions. What's done is done, little lie. No, I want to explain to him why we don't kill him. Because there are wider consequences, guys. Yes, you have your reputation, but I think your reputation is secure, given that like you've already made them pay. Like you've already, you've already proven that they are guilty, and and you were in the right. But killing them would have wider consequences, right? Killing them would disrupt Madame Chang's trade. And like destroying Wonpa would would ruin a lot of people's businesses. A lot of people who were not involved in this, like a lot of innocent people, would get negatively affected. Anyway, that's why I let them live. It's not how we do things. Gaiju bows to you, head held very low. I can accept this. I am unused to working with shadow runners, and assure you, and assure, and assume you would see things as I do. Hopefully, there is much I can learn from you. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm like there are. You end that. There's collateral damage, guide you. We don't want. We don't want to cause any collateral damage to people who don't deserve it. Right, like in pursuing the guilty. It would be wrong if we also harmed the innocents in doing so. Right, you see what I mean? All right, let's get out of here. Shall we leave this place? I am eager to be done with Wombo Garden. <laughs> Two karma. <laughs> Two karma is not very much karma. Anyway, eight is enough for me to continue putting stuff into willpower. Is there anything else for us to do here? There isn't, right? Because we've got a ghoul following us, and he's not supposed to be seen on the streets. We can go back in here. We can go back into the stock room. Okay, the map just basically just hasn't changed, right? Oh, hey, should we go grab your food? Didn't you have a bunch of bodies stashed in the sewers? And that's gonna be your food for the next year? <laughs> we should go grab his food. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave. Do we need to debrief? Do we need to debrief with Madam Chain? Alright, Hioi. The MTR rockets noiselessly towards Hioi along the edge of Kowloon Bay. The black water glitters in the night with the light of a thousand reflected storefronts. Gaichu stares sightlessly out the window, one hand pressed to the glass. The plot by the elders is exposed, and Porter Lamb is in your debt. You have a new ally and the respect of the Wampons. Sometimes everything goes right on a job. You count yourselves lucky this was one of those times. Yeah, we killed a bunch of gangers. <laughs> you know, we did kill a bunch of innocent bystanders. <laughs> there was collateral damage. Those gangers died. <laughs> the fact that the game doesn't give you a non-lethal way past the gangers if you don't have the right yeah, no, that part I don't agree with either. Maybe we didn't need it. Maybe maybe we could get through missing one piece of evidence. I'm not sure. The internet said I needed all the evidence, but... I don't know, man. It's just...
Go to the Empress Tomb. Okay, this is... Uh, I'll get some rest. Optional, get some rest. And then there's the two other missions. Let me level up my dudes. Wait, what? Oh no, only one guy has leveled up. This guy. Red Samurai, gain ability, active defense. A defensive ability that adds two armor and one dodge. Cool. Ability, rip. Kaiju gains a new claw ability, rip. Does an additional two damage and two bleeding damage for two rounds. Cost one. Do I really need... He's got negative two armor. Crazy. Do I really need more goo? Or more defense? Hold on. Claim payment for your run from the mission computer. Oh, did I not... Oh no, this is... I got more experience from coming back. Alright, let me just go ahead and... More of that. Uh, can I look at my team? I can't look at my team. Alright. I'm gonna go for the defense. I'm assuming he already has a lot of damage abilities, and he doesn't need more damage abilities. Who is Steven Dynamite? A disheveled man in filthy rag, teaser tilts on the sidewalk, wobbling on unsteady legs. His bloodshot eyes dart about desperately, and the acrid sweet odor that waves off of him buzzes unpleasantly in your nostrils. Uh, you okay, man? You have to help me, man. His teeth grind at his, as his crypt tightens. His hand feels like a vice. I need your help. Uh, say the magic word first. <laughs> this man yanks you closer. Your eyes are watering from his pungent proximity. Still, you notice that his tattered clothing bears designer logos. Please, please, take Handsome Lee a message from me. Uh, never heard of him. Now who are you and why are you touching me? I'm Steven. Steven Dynamite. He nods eagerly, desperation in his eyes. A sluggish tongue wipes itself over the cracked skin of his lips. Look, you gotta help me. I've been poisoned. That crap that Lee sold me put bad things in my head. Whenever I close my eyes, I see dark, narrow tunnels. So many. Hands grabbing, razor sharp, teeth gnawing, and the children. Uh... Bad things in your head? Are you talking about hallucinations? The junkie stares into space. A faint trickle of saliva makes its way down his chin. No, not exactly. More like nightmares. They feel very real. Teeth biting. Faces. Faces I knew. His trembling voice trails off. You know, the whole nightmare thing has been going around. It's, it's just you. No, this isn't that. I'm telling you. I was poisoned. I know it. You'll help me, won't you? Uh, alright. Alright, I'll do what I can. Then tell Lee what he's done to me, that I need relief. Tell him what I want. His sentence shows off. What do you want? I want my money back. <laughs> His reedy voice wavers, but he stops and says no more. Poison, nightmares, money back. Got it. Anything else? Just please come back, and please hurry. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Steven. <laughs> Good luck with that nonsense. Spider Shen. So I don't plan to buy anything right now. Hoy Smuggler. Two men in dirty synth leather jackets look up from their conversation at your approach. They both look haggard, their shoulders slump with exhaustion, and neither appears to have shaved this morning. What do you want, man? We're talking here. Uh, I'm new in town. Figured it'd pay to make all the connections I can. <laughs> a grim chuckle rumbles out of him. You chose the wrong day, stranger. We're moving further downstream and we're doing it today. There's something wrong with this place. Too many bad dreams. Uh, I know what you mean. The man blinks. His expression shifts from guarded to curious. You Did you dream it too? The long corridor and the thing in, with the ivory crown? <laughs> yeah. 
The elixir's lips nodding, and lots of people in town have dreamed it, or something like it. From the folks I've talked to, there were a bunch of different versions. Some people turned away from the corridor, went down alleys, that kind of thing. I've never even set foot in the Ward City before, stranger, so tell me, why the hell am I dreaming about it all of a sudden? I don't even know what the damn thing looks like on the inside. I think there's something strange going on, something magical, and the Ward City is where it's coming from. He grunts, it's a curse, nothing else it could be. Everybody knows that place is haunted, a living hell full of evil spirits and poisoned chi. If you're not careful, you wind up trapped inside with the rest of the human garbage. His companion cuts in, you catch a healthy whiff of alcohol on his breath. That isn't gonna happen to us, no way. Only the lowest of the low wind up in the Ward City. So like he said, we're going further downstream. As soon as our things are packed, we're out of here. Damn right, this place is a dump anyway. Let's try our luck in Macau to hell with this place. Alright, good luck. We could say the same to you, you're staying in Hioi after all. If of the three of us, you're the one who's most likely to need it. Alright, <laughs> the game is really pushing the stream thing. Uh, I really need to take a break. Let me like go back. And get paid. Open jobs directory. Claim payment for the Wombo Garden murders. You submit the job is finished and await the response. A few moments later, a message pops onto the screen. From kindly chain the SCKC, the Wompons tell me that they've ousted all of the Council of Elders, something to do with you exposing their efforts to cover up their own mess. It isn't the resolution I expected, but I think it's acceptable. If there's one thing I don't trust, it's people who won't pay what they owe. Thankfully, the Wompons are more reliable than Ng and her allies, and so am I. Your payment is attached. Kindly chain. Alright, good. I'm glad she is okay with it. If there's one thing I don't trust, it's people who won't pay what they owe. Indeed. Alright, go back. I'm gonna save the game, take a break here. When we come back, we... Go walk around and talk to people. And then sleep. Alright, let me save. And I'll see you next time.